trumpet students. Today I'm going to go over a song I teach in my sixth grade band class called Chromosome, and it's from The Essential Elements, Book 2, The Red Book, number 11. And this song I use as a mid-year evaluation. Students have to learn this song, record it, and submit it to me through Google Classroom. Today I'm going to do a quick instructional video about this song. I want to go through a few key points about the song, and then I'll play it all the way through with the metronome so you can practice along with it. In the beginning of measures one and two, I put this little arrow here connecting the second note and the sixth note, okay? And then in measure five, I connect the second note there with the sixth note in measure, well, I guess it'd be the third note in measure six, okay? And those notes are D sharp and E flat, called enharmonic pairs, and G sharp and A flat. And what do they all have in common? Well, you might have noticed at the top of my page, I wrote two numbers, two, three. I'm not a big person for writing in fingerings, but maybe I'll give hints up at the top of the page. All four of those notes are this fingering, second and third. And in the beginning, when trumpet players learn how to play, they usually use one and two. They don't usually use the two and three, but in this case, we're gonna use it four different ways. We're gonna use it for the D sharp, the E flat, the G sharp, and the A flat, okay? So when we play the beginning, we start on D. We're going to use that twice, and then on measure five, we're going to use it for the G sharp. Okay, and then we get to measure nine, the second line, and we start with A, B flat, C, no, A, B flat, B natural, C, C, B, B flat, A, F, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, okay? And then we encounter the two measure rest, okay? This two measure rest right here at the end of the second line. This means to rest two measures of music, but since we are, um, we're in three, four, we're gonna count one, two, three, two, two, three, because the second measure I always start on two instead of one. And we'll play the last measure. Not a very good ending because it says D, C, L, fine, which means to return back to the beginning. I have all my band students draw an arrow back to measure one, and then we'll play all the way through to the end of measure 13 a second time. So we play measures one to 16, and then we play measures one to 13 for a total of 29 measures. So I'm gonna set my metronome to 80 beats per minute, and we're gonna play through the song. If you want to play it slower, you can always slow down this playback speed on the video and play it through that way. Here we go. One and ready. Great job getting through chromosome. All right, if you're in my sixth grade band class and you're practicing this, good luck making your recording and submitting it through Google Classroom. If you just happen to stumble upon this video because you like chromosome, uh, I hopefully uh, you're enjoying playing this piece. A little bit's of chromatic scale that we have in chromosome. So thank you all for watching and happy practicing.